criticism when your referee Mr Paul Crosley calls a stop to this contest due to the opponent being unable to answer the bell, declaring your winner mm. by way of TKO in the red corner, James Power! Big win for James Power. And then next up on the card, we've got James Power versus Lucas Capera. James Power. Now we're getting into some some like fun prospects that most people won't know because obviously Fletcher. The people will if if, you, if you're into UK MMA stuff, you'll know Fletcher. And then Hardwick, I think, has already transcended UK MMA. But James Power is someone that I think people will become familiar with, probably starting from Saturday. Uh, he's someone I think really highly of. Clearly, the way I'm talking about him, undefeated as an amateur, undefeated as a pro. Never seen a judge's scorecard across both amateur and pro career. Um, all first and second round finishes. Legitimate problem at 155 Hell is yeah. James Power. He's got he's got this like really excellent hip dexterity as well. I've seen him throw some nasty, nasty head kicks without telegraphing much. If you want to do the same, you go watch his fight with Sean White back in 2021 at Cage Steel 25. Clip of it on YouTube and there's also it's lying somewhere on Facebook. Heavy, heavy-handed fighter mixes in the knees and the elbows really well in the clinch. Also comfortable on the ground offensively. Um, not seen much of him tested defensively, uh, but offensively, he's, you know, he swarms people and he's able to, to kind of pound people out. Uh, beat Adam Shelley in his cage Warriors debut last year, which is no mean feat. He's someone that I think people need to keep a really, really, really close eye on. I mean, he's he's definitely got some some mean streak about him that I really Some. really enjoy <laughs> Some. I, think, I don't know he just gives this aura that he's probably going to be someone that is going to do some good things at 155 pounds like under yeah, the cage yeah. warriors banner and beyond make yourself at home lad that's fine is it that's in case they don't let me fight in the whole shots it was like downstairs <laughs> when they're like oh um, can you just Stand there, like when they're like fucking about, like stood around me, and I'm like, what do I do? Like, <laughs> I do? Yeah, I'm more nervous for shit like that than I get for the fight. And you feel like one of them where you're gonna like just let yourself go, and that's a picture of the catch. Yeah, yeah, like, like shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Mine's is always like I get caught at the wrong time. I look like a wonky eye. Yeah. Or, yeah, I'm, like, yeah. or I'm looking off. I thought that. He was like saying, right, I want you to look mean into the camera now as it comes towards you. So I was looking at the centre of the lens. <laughs> he must have put the camera about there, yeah. and I thought I was going fuzz eyes. <laughs> and I'm like, that's gonna look really intimidating, that isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Not knowing which eye to follow. Yeah, the fighting sound, like, <laughs> I always say that to the lads, like, you, you train that much, like, what, twice a day, yeah. six days a week, whatever it is, like, fighting's just normal for you. Yeah, and it's, it's, scary, it's like, the other stuff, like the media, that, yeah. that that's stuff that you don't do, you don't have practice at. I don't know, yeah. what is it, have you seen Tyler Dagan Knights? No, With no. Will Ferrell, this, fuck it, I'll make sure he is, yeah. absolutely brilliant. So he's like, a badass race driver. Um, but he's shit at interviews. Yeah, you find it. And Ricky Bobby places third in the Dennett Racing Machine. Ricky, first of all, where did you learn to drive like that? The car. Uh, car hail review. Can you speak up, Ricky? Uh, a car. It handled real good. So what do you think, Mr. Dennett? He sure can't drive. He's got guts. Dennett Racing needs a racer like him. Come on, Daddy. Just a stupid cowboy. Look how bad he is in that interview. Junior, driving has got nothing to do with interviews. I just wish to hell you had a little more stupid cowboy in you. I felt like I was on a spaceship. And, uh, I'm not sure what to do with my hands. <laughs> by your side. Yeah, great. Well, we're real happy with, um, with what was going on. It's like and, fighters uh, doing this. At the end yeah. of the day, um, <laughs> you know, you gotta be happy. Hopefully this is a bit too much of a but I feel I have a shit sometimes soon because I feel like I ain't shit for two days. <laughs> this is a bit low calories. <laughs> I just think like, oh that's in me somewhere, like that's extra weight I could be getting rid of. <laughs> <laughs> Little nugget of the sound. Every pound counts. It's quite a lot to lose to be honest. Um, like my cut's quite a big cut for lightweight, so I'll I'll get close to weight tonight, and then sleep, and then hopefully I float a bit through the night, so I'll lose a little bit more, and then see where we're at in the morning. 
I'll go down and test on their scales as soon as they open up their office, and then if I have to jump back in the sauna, I have to jump back in. Yeah. And that's just that's just how it's got to be. Yeah, man. Just get some some decent telly on and sit and sweat. Be all good. You got a little like camping chair you put in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mate, I've left the camping chair. Oh no. That won't fit, will it? No, that this will though. I'll be sound, just to go with. Because you could that's put about the size of my camping chair. You could put a pillow in there. Yeah, I think that's about the size of my camping chair, to be fair. It'll fit, I think. Yeah, oh, there we go. It's just a corner, so that's the way. It'll come with one. Yeah, it comes with oh, one. Yeah, I'll just I literally have visions, and then I can know exactly where I've left it. <laughs> you just saw <stopped. laughs> Yeah, so there we go. Under eight. I think I'm still fitting. <laughs> oh, disaster evaded. Imagine that you just had to sit on your knees the whole oh, time. Man, mate, I could not do it. <laughs> yeah, it was sound. Sarah left us some goodies as well. I said that to our last as soon as I walked in. I was like, fucking hell. Teasing me here. Bottles of water that I can't have. V these wheels that I can't have. <laughs> Uh, got to get all the proper nutrients in first. So I've got like my carb gels mm. ready to go. And then uh, isotonic drinks and uh, like a protein shake, but like a carby one. Uh, just to get the carbs back in really. And then a few litres of water. Get about nine litres of fluid in total. Not just water though, that's like any any fluid. So like the Lucozades and that'll count to that. Um, and then yeah, we'll be back up probably 78, 79, maybe even 80 kilo, we'll just see, see how it comes back on. Oh my fresh crops, <laughs> you find new crops. <laughs> you find new crops. <laughs> so we have to close the body, have you reset the scale, off and on? Uh, no, you don't need to do that, just step on it. Just step on it, why don't you just redo it? Sound. Sound. How are you doing? Good. Yeah, I'm good. You? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, mentally. How are you? Very well, thank you. Yeah, I'm good. Yes, Nice to see you, buddy. Thank you. Yes, how are you? How are you feeling? Yeah, sound, mate. All good. All good for now. Yeah, you know, yeah, right. some more funky at the minute. Yeah, no, that's it. Yeah, every bucket is sharp now. <laughs> a moustache always makes it seem even like worse. <laughs> <laughs>
Two searches, we both found family members. Oh, mate, nine o'clock. It's 163.6. Okay. What were you on there before? 130, 135 points. So look at those notes so I can just have it made for tomorrow. Yeah. So you're 168 before and now 163.6. If you lose another 0.6, that's five pound defo done. Yeah. We had ten to do, didn't we? Yeah. Yep, mother out to action. I try to keep it pretty bland to be fair. Didn't want to get anything that like upset my stomach too much. Charlie? Ooh, I, went, I went for a bit more unhealthy options in James. <laughs> Got some chips on there, some chicken, some sour cream. No, 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 no vegetables or anything. Just some food. So 
Revolution, cold like zero degrees I'm out the cage, gotta let out the beast Revolutionary, gotta let out the streets Locked in a cage, I'ma let out the Let out the, let out the Wake up, get out the sheets We came for one man, forget my peace You take the west, I'll take on the east I'ma put him in a cage, never let out the Let out the, let out the yeah. I hear him chat to the noise Move too quick, can't stop for the talking I hear him chat with the boys Not so tough, but man's keep walking, yeah Just too sharp with the prize White girls, let her tell me I'm awesome, yeah like fire on the pan If you wanna touch me, please use caution Beg, please get on your knees Came from the jungle, up in the trees I got a few tricks up in the sleeve One wrong move, I'ma let out the Let out the, let out the Big shoes, check out the crease Blow like I'm Bigfoot, step on the beat Make a man's run till he step out the cleats When the whole place scream, gotta get out the, get out the. Exactly what's happened there, but Capera not coming out for the third round. James Power therefore gets the TKO victory. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Paul Cosley, calls a stop to this contest due to the opponent being unable to answer the bell, declaring your winner mm. by way of TKO in the red corner.